Hey guys and welcome back. Well, we're going to be doing a Maya 2018 modeling video today and today's topic is how to model a cartoon style snake. Okay, here we go. All right guys, well this one's going to be easy but hopefully you're going to enjoy it anyway. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're going to start and make sure that we are facing upward. So I'm just going to take a quick cube to check that. Yeah, there we go. Good, good. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a curve. So we're going to go to uh, create. We're going to go to uh, curve tools and do CV curve tool. I'm going to start somewhere back here. And we're going to kind of make an S flow. That would be nice. Okay. So something like that, not, nothing too fancy. Uh, we're gonna queue on a keyboard. We're gonna right click, go to control vertex. I'm gonna take that top one there. Hit B for soft select, hold down B, left click and drag. So we get an area that is affected. And I'm just gonna raise this up. That affected area is a bit too big. And there we go. So that's basically gonna be the body of our snake with a head raised up, all right? Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go and take, um, let's see, what we'll do is we'll take a, a cube and we'll uh, push it back here. I'm going to have to frame it. Starting at the right position, we need to rotate a little bit. So the face is at an angle of about 90 degrees with the start of our uh, line there. It's about right. I'm going to right click at a face and I'm going to hit B to turn off my soft select and get rid of these faces. So we just have that one left. And I'm going to right click, go to face here. Make sure we got our pivot point centered first. Modify center pivot. Yep. Um, that one we want to have a bit smaller. So I'm going to hit R and I'm going to push that down. And then we're going to right click, go to face, select it, and shift select this guy. And we're going to hit Control E to extrude. Now it's going to be a straight line pushing out, as you can see here. And as we add divisions, you will see that it will start to take that shape there. Okay. Now we want to have that quite high, so let's try 90, which is uh, kind of good. Yeah, I think so. Then we're going to add a taper, maybe even more than that. That looks all right. And you can even add a little twist if you like, not too much. I guess that's a good point there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit uh, Q to go in. We're gonna go into object mode. We're gonna hit three to preview smooth, which will give us this type right there. And then if you want, you can model this into the head. So we're gonna want to go back and we can now go in here and take, for example, this edge right there double click on it, hold down B for soft select. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna start to bring that in. Like that. And then we're gonna go in here, we're gonna hit B, and we're gonna take this face right here. Control E to extrude. W to pull out. We're gonna hit R to push that in like so. And then bring it in like this. Let me just uh, tweak that shape a little bit so it doesn't look that off. We're going to go in and double click on this guy and we're going to change the object orientation to world orientation. So now we can uh, tweak this a bit easier like this. And then we're going to go into object mode and hit 3 to preview smooth. You see that we need to um, change the head a little bit. So we're going to want to go back. And what we can do there to hold that shape a little bit is to first of all take these vertices, these two, hit W, push that down a bit. We want the head to be a bit flat. Push that up and push that over here, like so. And then we're going to go into Injured Edge Loop Option Box and open that up. Set that to Manual. And we're going to put an edge loop in right here. Q on a keyboard, Object Mode 3 to Preview Smooth. 
which already looks a lot better. Okay. Now, depending on your skills of um, creating something that looks organic, let's go in here and take these guys and kind of exaggerate that. You will have something that will look more or less like a snake. Now, just to top that off, we're going to uh, go in and go to Mesh and Smooth to actually smooth instead of just Preview. We're going to hit 1 to go back, so that will look something like this. Set it to Smooth Level 2. And then we're going to go in and create some eyes. Bring that up. Bring that in here. Hit R to scale that way down. That looks fine. Control D to duplicate. W to move that over. And push that down, like so. And then you have a very simple and easy to create snake. All right. That's all there is to it, guys. So have a go. Uh, I'll just uh, push up that till just for effect here. So I'm just going to go in and we're going to right click and go to vertex. Let's take that end there. Hit B on our keyboard. We're going to um, hold down B and pull that a little bit just to bring that up. Okay. So finally, we're going to right click go to object mode. We're going to go into edit, delete by type history. And now you can go to the outliner, take that curve and delete it. And here is your very simple snake. Okay. Have fun guys. See you guys next time. Bye.